Hey guys, Kathy here with another Kathy's View for You, and today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite slash holy grail beauty items. So let's jump right into it. Um, I don't know where to start. Okay, I guess I'll start with lip products because I really don't have many favorites. Um, there's a lot of colors and brands that just don't really look well on me or they don't settle well. So the only ones that I have found that I absolutely love are the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stains. The Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. And I have four of the colors. I have tried a couple of other ones, but these are mainly the ones that I gravitate towards. My absolute favorite one is Honey because it's a nice pale pink and on me it just looks amazing and if I do want that nice little natural look I'll just keep it by itself if I want a bit of a bolder look I'll use a darker lip liner but for the most part honey is my absolute favorite I have gone through about three of these and this one is just about done so love this and if you can see all of mine they have completely lost the names and everything on the packaging. The next one that I really like, it's a nice darker pink. It's called Smitten. And actually, I'll do swatches for you in case you haven't seen what these look like. Um, okay. That is Honey. I love the fact that they keep your lips nice and moisturized, but at the same time, they actually stay. It leaves a nice stain. Um, even if you reapply it, there's no clumps or anything on it, so I absolutely love it. This one, like I said, is smitten. I love this as a red, and I could have swore I had another red that wasn't as red. Um... But I guess I, it's either in one of my purses or I finished it, but I don't remember finishing it. Anyways, if I find it, I will tag the name down below. This one is Romantic. And then this one is Rendezvous. This one's a nice corally color, kind of like what I have on right now. Um, so, yeah, those are by far my absolute favorite lip products because they're good for everyday wear. They're good for a nighttime look, date looks, date nights. It's it, I love it. So, that's that. Now, my next favorite item is my face cleansing brush. This one is by Acne Free, and I bought it at Walmart while I was on vacation for, I think it was like $14. I know that it's in my vacation haul video, so... You guys can look that up. Um, you guys can check out that video. This, it's waterproof. It's comparable to the Clarisonic, but obviously a whole lot cheaper than the Clarisonic. Um, I wanted to try out a brush like this first because I do have sensitive skin. So I love the fact that it is waterproof, so I just use it when I'm in the shower or if I have had a full face of makeup on, I'll just, you know, use this to kind of make sure that my face is completely clean at the end of the day. It has helped with my pores as long as I continuously use it. Um, it does have two speeds. It has the higher speed and the lower speed. And it's very affordable. I absolutely love it. And it came with two heads. They're both the same brush. But I like that it, you know, it does have the, the, the op. It does have a replacement, pretty much. So this is also one of my favorite beauty products. Well, face products. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about for a minute is the Clear Clinic Laboratories Vanished Clear Spot Treatment. This thing right here, I have, like I've said before, I have problematic skin and as you can see, I do get blemishes. I, I do get really bad blemishes. I got this in my July Ipsy bag, I believe. Or if not, it was my June. I really can't remember which one, but I know I received it in one of my summer Ipsy bags. And it was this cute little, like, 0.5 milliliter, which lasted me forever. 
th it, these, this all you really need is a tiny little bit. Now this is expensive. This runs for $35 on their website. The good thing is that when you first sign up, you get a 20% off your order, and this will last you forever. Um, I got this one actually for free from Clear Clinics because of the fact that after my Ipsy one ran out, I purchased another one, and because I had purchased from them, they sent me that if I do like before and after shots, I'll get a free one. So I sent them the before and after shots, and I was really excited because, hey, these things last forever, and $35, you're going to send me a free one. I don't, they, this is not sponsored. They did not tell me to review it or talk about it in any which way, shape, or form. I just wanted to share with you guys about the fact that this is something that actually works for me. Um, I sent them the before and after shots. I sent them the release, and then I got this in the mail like three days later. But I was really upset because my dogs got into it and broke it. And this isn't, it, it's just plastic. So when my chow chow bit into it, it kind of got everywhere. And I was crying because, like I said, this is an expensive product and it is one of my favorite products. So I was really, really happy and thankful that I was able to participate in that and I got a whole nother one. Um, this all you do, you just, you can put it up to four times a day, you can put it on any blemishes. I like putting it when I first feel a pimple popping out, or like when I first start feeling that, I instantly start putting it on. I put it about three times a day, and within 24 hours, either the breakout never occurs, it completely vanishes, or it, the size, it like completely... I can't even explain, like, I'm, I'm caught up with my words because I like it. I absolutely love this. I would definitely, definitely recommend you going onto their website and seeing. They have for teen skins, they have for adult skins, they have for acne aging skin. They have, they have a, if you need it, they have a product for you. They have cleansing pads and moisturizers and you name it. They are on the pricey side, but I, if you are interested in trying them, I would suggest you look at some of their reviews. They do have a consultant that can help you pick out the product that you need. They do have free shipping on all your orders. And like I said, when you sign up, you get a 20% off discount. So that's really great. If you're just interested in the vanishing spot treatment, like I said, it runs for $35. But with the 20% off coupon, it comes out to like $27, $28. I can't remember exactly what I paid for my first one. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now, another kind of face item is this little razor edge thing. I, I'm sorry, I do have, you know, a mustache, as most women do. You get hair that just grows. Um, I don't like waxing because it leaves these little bumps on there, and it irritates my skin, so I really don't like doing that. This, though, I love it. I've had the same battery that it came with, and I have had this for about nine months. And it is amazing. I absolutely love it. It does have the dual sides. It did come with a little brush cleaner, but I've misplaced that. Um, this, I believe, was $10 at Walmart, and they have all these pretty little designs. And you just put it in your purse and go. It's travel friendly and everything. It's nice and gentle. You can use it on your mustache. You can use it pretty much anywhere that you want. I use it also to help clear out over here because I don't know about you, but whenever I do my eyebrows, over here it tends to hurt the absolute most and it makes my eyes all teary and then it's like itchy, don't like it, so I love this, I absolutely do. Um, there was something else I wanted to mention, but I can't remember what it was about this product. Oh, yes, I brought this with me on vacation, funny story with it, and... <laughs> Because of the fact with my dogs and my daughter and packing and everything, I was shaving my legs last minute before vacation. And I only did one leg. And I did not bring a razor because I was only going to be gone for four days. Luckily, I did bring this. So I was kind of able to do my other leg with this. And that's that just made this even more of a great item for me to have all the time. Now, my next item is my e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. I absolutely love this because whenever I do my makeup, all I have to do is, once I'm done using it, I spray a couple of sprays on it, and I take a paper towel, and I just rub the brush on it, and it cleans up all that extra 
stuff that's stuck in the brush. And it's really good for in between deep cleanings. So, and you really don't need a lot. I've had this for a couple of months and that's all I've used. Especially, I don't really do full face makeup all the time. I do use my eye brushes a lot, but they're little. So you really only need like one or two sprays to get them clean. And it helps disinfect them and it's great for the longevity of your brushes. And this is also like $3 on the e.l.f. website. So it's great. The next couple of items that I'm going to be talking about are eyeliners. Now, my favorite felt tip eyeliner is by Physicians Formula, and it's the Eye Definer Felt Tip Eye Marker. It's just like that. I absolutely love these. I have been addicted to these for quite some time. And I have four <laughs> of their colors. I have the light brown that I don't really use very often, but because I am such a fan of it, I absolutely had to have it. Then I have the cool black. Well, actually, let me just swatch these for you also. Let's do it on this side. That is the light brown, which isn't really light, but it's it's pretty nice. It is actually lighter than the brown, the black brown. That is the black brown. I like using that one when I want kind of a softer look, but I still want that dark eyeliner, but not like black black. What I have on my eyes right now is the ultra black, which I hadn't been able to find, and this one is almost done because I have had it for like a year and a half now, and it is, it, it's just about done. And then I had the cool black, which is a cooler black than the ultra black, but still pretty black. I love these. Once they dry, they are smudge proof. They are waterproof. They stay on my eye for a long time, and I absolutely love them when I'm doing the wing eyeliner. I, I love them. I actually have one of these in my giveaway that I'm planning for when I hit 100 subscribers. So, if you haven't tried it, you'll be able to try it if you win. The next item is by CoverGirl, and it is their Perfect Point Plus eyeliner. I haven't really tried it with the smudging. I was using the smudge brush for something else. But this is, if I'm not doing the felt eyeliner or a kind of liquid eyeliner, this is what I use for the top of my eyes because it is just very black, smudge proof, waterproof, it stays, I don't get the raccoon eyes with it, it glides on so nice and smooth and I cannot talk about this one enough. It is by far one of the best drugstore eyeliners that I have purchased in a really, really, really long time. I've even been able to use it on my waterline and it also also it also stays and it does it does smudge a little bit on the bottom of my eye but that's kind of normal for me so I was still really impressed with the fact that it did not completely it wasn't completely gone within an hour or it didn't completely smudge the bottom of my eyes I really really liked this one as well the next one that I use only on my waterline is by Lord and Barry and I also, I received this one in my August Ipsy bag. And if you've seen my videos, if you followed with my videos, my August Ipsy bag came opened. And it looked like some of the products were used. So Ipsy was very kind enough and they sent me a replacement bag. And I was really excited that they did send me another one of these because I really did want to try this because I had heard great things about it. It is the 1001 black silk mini coal liner and like I said this is amazing on my waterline this is the only one that absolutely does not smudge it stays I use that also to tight line my eyes and I love this eyeliner I have already been looking to repurchase it because it is tiny itty bitty 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 so I really just try to use this when I need to or when I really don't want to have to be reapplying my makeup at night or when I go out at night. Um, that's why I was trying this one on my waterline. And this one works great for during the day. But this one, for that date night or for that smoky, sultry look, I would recommend this one. 
I did not expect for this video to be that long. I have four more products that I just want to talk about really quick. Um, I love this Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray. I am very oily and whenever I do my full face makeup I hate having to bring a powder with me and I don't like it. I like very low maintenance kind of makeup looks. So I cup do a couple of sprays on this before I go out at night and literally my makeup will last me like four to five hours without any oiliness shining through and even when it does the only place that it does that the oil does start coming out on is in my nose which is my most oily spot as most people that are have oily skin they can relate to um yeah this I absolutely love it I know Urban Decay has a couple of sales right now due to the holidays coming for this and if you have oily skin I would definitely recommend the D Slick one if you don't have oily skin and you do want a setting spray and you haven't already tried it they do have the all nighter that I've heard also works wonders for drier skin but like I said if you do have oily skin I would definitely definitely recommend this spray. The last makeup item that I have that is by far my favorite is the BH Cosmetics Itch Duty Time Palette. I got this one a couple of months ago and I use at least one of these colors in all any makeup look that I do with eyeshadow and I love 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 it. I love this one as a highlight color because it is matte. I don't like using a lot of shimmery colors in my highlighting under brow bone here area but I love it. This is a great transition color or just great alone. I have used them wet. I prefer them dry. I do recommend, even without a primer, they're really good. But I do recommend using a primer just because they last so much longer. This is a limited time product. So if you've tried it, or it's a limited edition product. So if you have tried it and you know about it, I would suggest you stock up. I'm planning on doing so before they stop selling it. And if you haven't tried it and you want to try it, go on BH Cosmetics and definitely go get yourself uh, one of these because there, there's so many nice neutral looks and shimmery looks. And it's, it, it is just an amazing eyeshadow affordable palette. So that. The next two items are makeup remover wipes and they're both by Neutrogena. I love this one which is the hydrating one. I love it because of the fact that it helps and when I do use eye products I love using waterproof ones because they just stay better and this one is the only one that with one wipe I can actually take off all of my eye makeup and it doesn't irritate my eye. It doesn't leave that streakiness or any partial makeup I I love 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 this one I don't like too much what it does with my face because it does leave my face very hydrated and as it says but with me having oily skin it doesn't do very well with my face so I like using that one to remove my eye makeup and then I use the rest I, I wipe off some of my face makeup with it but then I go in with the oil free pink grapefruit acne prone skin cleansing wipes because it does take off all of my makeup and it does leave that nice tingling effect that makes my face feel really 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 clean so if I'm just you know doing really quick lazy just trying to take off my makeup remover wipe make up without having to wash my face afterwards I just go you know use that and it does make my face still feeling really really clean not like other wipes that you can you know you wipe off your makeup and you still feel like icky in your face this one doesn't I've had a hard time finding it again so if any of you know where I can find this if you've tried it and you know where they sell these please let me know because at my local Walmart they don't sell this one anymore and that was devastating to me um so yes I hope you guys like the video. Sorry that it's kind of long, but I haven't done a my favorites kind of video, so I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorites. Hoping that can help some of you if you've been wanting to try some of these items and you haven't or you've been looking for something similar. I hope this helps you. Um, 
In the comment section down below, let me know if you have used any of these products, if you like any of these products, or what are some of your favorite products. Um, pretty sure that's about it. So that's it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for staying and watching. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, if you like what you see, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. As always, comments are appreciated. And if you do like and you do want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Kathy's View for You, the same way that it's spelled on my channel. And that's it. Love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend.